got it off of Amazon. About ten dollars. So we're gonna start with the calf area right here. So we're gonna start from about five inches up from my heel and then go right up from that area. We're gonna work each side from one from the left side of my calf all the way over to the right side of my calf, working from the bottom all the way right up to the top. Slowly working through that muscle. We're gonna look for some rough spots, knots, adhesions. When I find one of those, we're gonna add some pressure and then hold it there for about 20 seconds. It looks like I found a spot right about there. So like I said before, I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of extra pressure. Press down there. Once we're done with that for about 20 seconds or so, we're going to move on to another spot. Now we can go ahead and work on our hamstrings here. I would do this side of my leg and the other side, but we're not going to put all that on this video. All right, so I'm going to start right at the right at the bend of my leg. I'm going to work my way all the way underneath my glute muscle here. So just like before, I'm going to raise myself up off my mat, work my way down. This time I'm going to use both of my legs. I'm not feeling too much pressure, so what I can do is bring one leg up and over so I have my heel right on top of my knee here. Add a little bit more pressure. And once again, I'm going to roll from one side of the muscle all the way back and down. I don't really feel much there, so I'm going to turn a little bit, work my way right back down. Found a spot, so I'm going to hold it there. And I'll hold it for about 20 seconds. All right, we're done with that. Now we're going to work on our glutes. I'm going to sit right up on top of this guy. Turn all the way over from one side. Slowly work my way down, all the way to the top. I'm creeping, I'm creeping. Same thing on the other side. So next we're going to turn all the way over. Let's hit that hip flexor. All the way on this side. Searching, I'm searching. I feel something right there. I'm going to go and hang out. Keep pushing that. Okay. All right. Work my way back up. All right. So we hit those calves. Let's go for a calf stretch. Okay. Straighten that leg all the way back up. I'm going to lock that back knee. Put a bend in my front leg. Drive that heel back into the floor back there. Right, I'll do the exact same thing on the other side. For that hamstring stretch, I'm have both my legs straight underneath me. Lock those knees. Okay, I'm going to pinch my shoulder blades together, hinge at my hips, push my hips back, go down for a toe reach. I'm going to say I'm not trying to round my back here. I'm trying to push my hips back as much as I can to create that stretch back there on those hammies. And I'll hold that for about 30 seconds in those two stretches. Two foam rolls. Let's go for that third foam roll stretch. So we did the hip flexor. So we're going to get at that 90 degree in the front. I'm going to kick my right leg back. Okay. Now I'm going to drive my hips into the floor. Keep my chest up. Up, up, up. I'm taking a breath out. Right, I'm feeling all that pressure right here. Now, if we're not feeling that much, we can open up the hips a little bit more. I can drive that right leg back. We've got the cushion there. My heel, knee just came off, so I want to put it right back up there. Straighten myself back up, chest up, drive your hips down. And 30 seconds on that side. Hope you guys like this video. Um, what you can do is just follow along on it. So you do those three foam rollers, foam rolling um, techniques, and then you're going to go in those three stretches.